Hello everybody and I welcome all of you to online study for you. This is a video on the pseudocode questions problems. In this video we are going to take up some of the questions from the pseudocode sections and we'll try to solve this. So a lot of companies like Capgemini are actively asking this and our pseudocode videos have been proven to be very helpful for a lot of students. So we'll discuss some of the questions that will help you in this video. So the first question is, what is the value of B at the end of the pseudocode? So this is the given pseudocode, A is equal to one. So there is a colon here that means nothing but just is equal to, okay? In some pseudocode, this will be the notation used for equal to sign. So A equal to one, B equal to one, while A is less than or equal to 500, begin A is equal to, 2a this should be actually 2 power a let us just fix that yeah so i just fixed this so this should be 2 power a so a equal to 2 power a b is equal to b plus 1 end so at the end after here what will be the value of this b that they're asking so option a is 4 option b is 5 option c is 6 option d is 7 now very simple what we'll do is we'll keep a variable a and put a value 1 we'll take a variable b and we'll put the values also 1 that is what has been initialized so this while loop begins here and ends here this begin sign means that the while loop will begin here okay so while the value of a is less than or equal to 500 this loop will be executed now in the first sentence what happens a is equal to 2 power a so when you say 2 power a it is nothing but 2 power 1 the value of a is 1 so 2 power 1 is nothing but 2 so this 2 will be assigned here. So the value of A becomes 2. Now B is equal to B plus 1. The value of B becomes 2. Now the again condition checking is happening. A is less than or equal to 500. This is true because 2 is less than or equal to 500. Now again uh, it will be happening. This sentence will be executing. A equal to 2 power A. So 2 power A is nothing but 2 power 2. 2 power 2 is nothing but 4. So this becomes 4. Now again B plus plus. This value becomes... 3. Now again 4 is less than or equal to 500. This condition becomes true. So a equal to 2 power a. Now what will be the output is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 because 2 power 4. Sorry this is 2. So 4 times 2 is multiplied. That is equal to 2 to 4. 4 to 8. 8 to 16. So this will be nothing but 16. So a value will be 16. b equal to b plus 1. b value will be 4. 4. Now, again, 16 is less than uh, 500. That is true. Now, a equal to 2 power a. So, now the what value what it becomes is 2 power a. What is the value of a? 16. So, 2 power 16 is nothing but multiplying 2 16 times. What is the value of it? So, 2 power 16 is nothing but 65,536. How do I know this is because in previous days there, is, there used to be 16 bit computer. And uh, so because of that the size of integer used to be only 65,536 in old computer. But now it has been increased with the 64 bit computer that we have. It will be 2 power 64. Okay. But now the value of A becomes 65,536. Okay, now again after this statement we are going to say b equal to b plus 1. This statement will be executed. So what happens is the value of b becomes 5. Now when you go back here to check a is less than or equal to 5000. This condition becomes 500. This condition becomes false because the value of a is 65536. So what you do is you get out of this while condition. So at the end what they are asking is what is the value of b? The value of B is 5. That is the option B is the correct answer. Okay. I hope you have understood. Let us go for the next question. That is the second question. What will be the output of the following pseudo code for a given array A of 5 is equal to 3, 4, 6, 1, 2 and POS is 2. So POS is a variable in the given pseudo code. Note N is equal to size of array which is equal to 5. That is the size of this array. And uh, starting array index is 0. Array index starts from 0. In some pseudo codes, array index will start from 1. Okay. Only in program it will start from 0. But see here they have mentioned that array index starts from 0. Then you have to take it from 0 only. So 
so this is the given pseudo code declare i j n p o s repeat for j is equal to p o s to n minus 1 set a of j is equal to a of j plus 1 end loop okay so this should come here this indentation is actually wrong so this is also to confuse you okay if this is python then you'll get an error since this is pseudo code you should be really looking about where this end loop is okay this is to confuse you this n minus 1 is not related to this for loop display the new array end what will be the output option a is 3 2 4 6 1 2 option b is 3 4 1 2 option c is 3 4 2 1 2 option d is 3 6 1 2 now what is happening here we have an array a of 5 that is it has 5 values inside it so they have said that the index starts from 0 so what are the values inside it are 3 4 6 1 and 2 now in the code they have given that also the value of n is equal to 5 that is the size repeat for j is equal to pos to n minus 1 okay here they have given that the pos value that is given as input is 2 so pos will be equal to 2 so here you said for j is equal to pos to n minus 1 so from 2 to n minus 1 there will be a while loop for loop okay set a of j equal to a of j plus 1 so what you are doing is you are setting a of j as the next element so it starts from 2 initially pos value let us execute it so initially the value of pos is 2 okay so what happens now is so 2 to n minus 1 n is 5 so 2 to 3 it should be executed so when uh, this condition becomes true a of j equal to a of j plus 1 so j value is pos j value is 2 so this becomes nothing but a of 2 is equal to a of 2 plus 1 that is nothing but 3 so a of 2 is this that is 6 a of 2 equal to a of 3 so what is happening here is 1 is being returned here okay the end loop is here so after this it will come back here and it will increase the value of pos or oh, sorry it will increase the uh, value of j okay so initially we had j s 2 because j is equal to pos now the value will be increased to 3 okay so a of j equal to a of j plus 1 now the value of a of j is 3 so a of 3 equal to a of 4 will be done so that is nothing but 2 will be returned here okay now again it goes back and increases the value to 4 so now what happens is uh, the value of n minus 1 is nothing but 4 okay so since uh, 4 is not equal to 4 this uh, no this will execute because 2 okay so 2 means until this value so now also it will execute a of j equal to a of j plus 1 so that is nothing but a of 4 is equal to a of 4 plus 1 that is a of 5 a of 5 has some garbage random value that is a null value so that null value will be returned here at the end so now the value of j becomes 5 that is greater than this so it comes out of the loop and it says displays new array the new array is nothing but 3 4 1 2 that will be displayed option b is the correct answer for this question okay so option b 3 4 1 2 is the correct answer uh, we have an in interesting announcement coming here students for you all so uh, the announcement is that our capgemini premium pseudocode materials are out and you can buy them it is uh, web available in our website so uh, the price has been increased to 199 rupees for the material so it may increase further as well because of all the demand and uh, the you know uh, thing that we have to pay to the website teachers etc so it has been made 199 so you buy it as soon as possible it may increase so new eight videos are added to the material it was 20 later we had a 22 videos now we have totally 30 videos exclusively on pseudo code itself so make sure you buy this it is going to be very useful some of our question had even appeared on the recent capgemini exam as well so it was a very similar questions were uh, available in the exams uh, you can buy it from our website online study for you dot in so already four videos have been added currently we have 26 videos uh, uh, another four videos will be added soon within today or tomorrow we will have 
30 videos in total on cap gemini okay so you will get lifetime access for this if you are our watcher you know our website you get the access through our website lifetime it is not like it is going to expire in some time so you can refer it maybe after five years if you want to change the company and if you want to look at look at pseudocode materials you can always look at the pseudocode materials and it will be updated so for students who already bought our material for 149 rupees don't worry you don't have to pay, pay anything extra all the new videos will be updated for you as well you don't have to pay anything extra whoever wants to buy now it is 199 rupees for them please buy soon the prices may go up and it may become 249 or 3 299 i don't know but uh, do buy at the earliest to get the all recent videos now friends i will take you through the website so you can see the price of the capgemini videos was 149 rupees earlier but now you can see the number of videos has been also increased it is 26 plus videos now and by tonight we will be uploading around 30 videos so friends we don't want uh, any questions to come outside from the videos which we are providing so we are increasing the number of videos and definitely uh, along with that the prices will also increase so friends you buy it before the prices increases okay so and those who have bought earlier so you can see you will also having 26 videos so it will automatically get updated and friends the english videos also the price has been increased by a bit and we are going to add some more videos to it so definitely the price will again increase so friends do not wait for that so make your preparation better with us and we are working very hard for you guys okay so that is the major announcement that is coming so thank you for watching this video thank you for watching online study for you please check out our materials uh, so that you can crack your dream interviews and examinations thank you once again